Now, the trail itself is actually, in some ways, recycled, isn't it? That's right. Uh, it was used initially. It was part of the United States Construction Railroad, carrying the materials down to Hoover Dam for its construction, 1931 to 1935. And the trail was taken out of use in 1961, dismantled in 1962. They sold the rails for scrap and also some of the ties. And from that time on, it's been a hiking uh, trail in this area. Although the trail is flat and easy to walk, keep in mind that it is over five miles round trip, so you'll want to bring good walking shoes when you come here. The name uh, the United States Construction Railroad seems a little unwieldy. Do they have anything else that they Oh yeah, the, the workers and the locals had a much shorter name, the BC and B, and, and that stood for the Boulder City and back. <laughs> The uh, trains would come down with the goods, and generally they would come back empty, only two or three cars at a time. But there was one exception, because down here, oh, wow. you'll see these large concrete masses. These were plugs that were brought from the power plant at Hoover Dam, and as they installed a new generator, they only started out with about three generators initially and kept adding till they got the 17 generators in 1961. We have some very cool trail features ahead of us yes. here, I see. This is not the normal trail feature, is it? Uh, these are the, the tunnels. We have five of them on this reach of trail. And these tunnels are about 18 feet wide and 26 feet high. They had to put an extra foot in there because they found out when they brought the railroad bed in, the ties and the rails, they lost a foot and they had to go 26 feet. Mm. I wonder if this is the only trail around where you actually get to walk through a railroad tunnel. I'm just realizing while I look at it, I, I've, this is something that I've never done. You don't get to do this, generally speaking. I was railroad tracks that they like, would be few and far between. Yeah, they don't like you walking on the tracks, so this is a pretty rare opportunity. Now, if you look up on the roof of the tunnel, you'll see kind of a city yeah, so coating. That's the suit from the, uh, the steam engines that came through here. They had about, uh, about four steam engines on this run at one time, ran 24 hours a day. If you see anything up there that has a triangular shape to it, it's probably a bat. Oh, you guys have bats? Lots of bats. The there are a few. There are a few. Well, this is the uh, fifth and the, the last tunnel on the trail, and it's a little bit different than the others in that it has a bend in it. You'll notice that you don't clearly see the end of the tunnel. Oh, yeah, it's the first one that you yeah. don't see straight through. That, that's right. Now, one thing that's, that's interesting here, this was, uh, they had a fire in this tunnel in 1978, and they had to close it off. This, this face was completely closed off and uh, covered with shotcrete. And it remained closed until 2001. And the Park Service, working with the Bureau of Reclamation, decided that they would open the tunnel back up. And we hope to have the connecting link in there, the about two mile section, uh, completed by the Federal Highway Administration uh, sometime uh, very soon after that. So you could walk all the way from Boulder City That's correct. down to the dam. Yeah. And it's just it's an example of, of the communities, the, the agencies in the community all working together. Uh -huh. uh, this spur in here is just one more example uh -huh. of the working B. together. The BC&B is back. Boulder City and back. <laughs> but it's on foot. 